academy where we are meeting and the educators are trying to give you every such thing so that you crack this examination sooner we would say and a very good offer is running by so the people out there who are waiting to take part in an academy please do understand the educators the notes everything has come here you can try to take in for the 12 month subscription if you take with the code of cmc cmc is my code if you apply this code of cmc no you get whatever is the price you get 20 percent off this off in that plus three months of extension along with it so a good offer that has come by it would be a very limited one so please take part in this and the people out there who have still not registered for this championship i would say the time has really come to take part in this championship so on 27th of march it is happening do register right now cmc is my code when you do this you get uh, your scorecard would be shared with me and then i can get to tell you what about uh, the cavity filling the last mile program is for the people who have cleared the mains this year and they are going to get some training sessions about how to sit in the interview how to talk about the ideas how to develop their own ideas over a topic and you can see the board here that looks like a very experienced one the educators along with these people who have been in the services or who are still there into the services they are going to mentor them an academy life subscription is about the test that you can give 28 test cost you 3149 56 test cost you 4409 and if you apply the code of cmc you get a surprise discount in this if you need me as your mentor and uh, not only talking about uh, maybe these uh, sort of only studies uh, i think i'll be there into this mentorship plus plus that i have defined for myself mentorship plus plus involves your active mentoring it involves your notes it involves your curated efforts to make a google sheet and then maybe checking where are you so it's a stop taking thing every week that i do so i call this subscription you can take a lot of offers are running on this and you can start with this uh, zero percent interest rate and no processing fee so you can develop your own emi the flexible tenure that you can develop minimal paperwork is required and approval you can get in two hours power 500 is Okay, so Chanmol is for UPSC is a telegram channeling, so you can join this. And I must say, Power 500, uh, I think, uh, would be someday you would realize that these were the topics that have somewhere or the else would have come in the examination. Powered 500. Okay, so I begin this session with a very positive thing, and that goes like Sarvam Sambhavye Tvai. That means everything is possible if you shall do it. Everything is possible if you shall believe in it. Believe in yourself and you are going to achieve anything and everything on this earth that is possible due to human efforts. So never feel that this examination is tough or what. It is you who can crack this examination and it is we who are going to get a lot of proud feeling. So welcome to the session and uh, we have done 10 topics by this day. Today I have some more. No, I'm picking up those topics where the questions are lying. So be very particular. I'm not going into details. I'm giving you pointers how the questions are going to come. India, India, France is again a very important topic that has been running by. France has all of a sudden become a very important player even in Russia, Ukraine things. So we'll have to see France also. But a very important thing that I wanted to talk about is India, France has agreed on a space security dialogue. Now this is the actually a sort of space security dialogue is for exactly to see how the space is being utilized who all are actually in there and how do we maintain some sort of uh, peace in there how do we have our endeavors aligned so that the space is actually protected and please understand the bilateral space security dialogue will be the third for india that means we have signed with two more countries one was united states and another was japan so a very good important uh, i would say piece of, of information here if they could directly ask you recently india has signed What is the language in which you said these thoughts of the day? It was Sanskrit. It was Sanskrit. Okay, so this was actually uh, with France that it was signed recently. So maybe they could ask you a question with how many countries they would have. Or they could also ask you about Russia now. They could ask you about Russia now. So please see, Russia is not there. We have done with US, we have done with Japan and we have, have done with the France. We have not done with Russia. So that is an important highlighter that you must have in your mind. This bilateral space security dialogue will be third for India and it is only by United States and Japan that we have it. Now France, Russia is not there. Do take this into consideration. Russia is not there. So they could try to confuse you with because the times are such, because the times are such that they, you feel 
कि रशिया इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिया मस्ट हैव साइंड रशिया स्पेस सिक्योरिटी डायलॉग बट इंडिया हैज नॉट डन दिस आई होप यू आर फाइन विद दिस एंड फॉर फ्रांस इंडिया विल बी द फर्स्ट एशियन कंट्री For France, India is the first Asian country with which it will have such a space security dialogue. So my only uh, sort of pointer is, they would ask you about Russia here. Do remember, space security dialogue has not been signed with Russia. It is only by US, Japan, and with France now. Do remember this point. Okay. So as I said, no, they would be actually trying to have some sort of multilateral understanding. Maybe as we do in the defense exercises there, we will align all our efforts for the space to be actually safe, secure, sustainable and access to the outer space. Okay. Now, one more thing that I want you to remember is there could ask, there could be a question. Jai Hind, Jai Hind, I welcome you to the session. Indo-Pacific Parks Partnership, a very important one. Okay. Now, suppose if they ask you Indo-Pacific Parks uh, Parks partnership, where do you feel it should be? Which country? I felt like this Indo Pacific, the name was so much in news because of US. If they ask you Indo Pacific Parks partnership, where are you going to mark this? You only tell me genuinely. If you know this, fine, but if you do not know this, if the question has come US, B, Russia, C, Germany, and D, France, where are you going to mark this? Now, I have taken France, so you can say for now, France. But had this been a question any day, Indo-Pacific Parks Partnership, you would have just seen Indo-Pacific and you would have marked it. I, I think I would have done that. I think I would have done that if I did not study this. I would have done that. I am not sure about you, but I would have done that. Because Indo-Pacific has been made so much a buzzword because of US only. And hence, I would have marked US there. But do remember, it is Indo-Pacific Parks Partnership which is with France, we have done this partnership and it is about what? In the Indo-Pacific region, see Indo-Pacific region, we are doing this for what? The management, the sustainable management of the protected areas. So we are trying to develop some experiences in this Indo-Pacific and we are going to just collect these experiences as happened in the Tiger Reserves thing, the T2X, I hope you remember the T2X. Everything that we are doing nowadays are collecting the experiences so that it could be used for the sustainable management of something. For Indo-Pacific Parks Partnership, it is about the protected area. The protected area, so I hope you can remember it now. Indo-Pacific Park Partnership is with France. Two things I have given you today. Space Security Dialogue is with France and it is India's third only country with which India has done. US, Japan and France and the Indo-Pacific Parks Partnership for the protected areas, the protected parks is with France. I hope this is fine with all of you. Let's move ahead and see these exercises. So you have Varun between India and France. Varun is a naval exercise. You have Desert Night and Garud as air exercise. Garud is an air exercise. So Desert Night also is India and France exercise. And Shakti. Shakti is that army exercise. So why I am giving you this is no. I will give you others also. But for the time being do remember. Varun wherever the name is. It is India and France. Garud wherever the name is. India and France. And only Shakti. Only Shakti. Not anything preceding or maybe succeeding this Shakti. Only Shakti. India and France. Do remember these names. I have a great feeling this year. France has become such an important player these days. They could ask you a lot of things on that. Please do take into consideration the SSD, the Indo-Pacific Pass Partnership, Varun, Garud and Shakti. These three are there. If done, shall I move ahead? Okay. Now, who would not say that UAE has been so much important to us and is so much in news? For the mere reason that after so many years, we have signed some sort of FTA. After so many years. And not only this, I must tell you, just look at the year. India and UAE has established the diplomatic relationships in 1972. 1972, 2022, I ring some, my head is actually ringing something. Does it, does it also ring a bell in your mind? Does it ring a bell in your mind? India and UAE established diplomatic relationships in 1972. Does it ring a bell in your mind? Why this question? Much probable to come. Much probable to come. Do you feel this? I feel this. What about you? I feel this. What about you? That means you also feel the same thing. What my intention is no. Become an aspirant and not only a student. 
aspirants think like this students only take in okay 1972 no idea about what is happening now do remember this is 1972 50 years and the question is there this year please see india ua what i can feel is since we have signed a cepa the comprehensive economic partnership agreement to boost our trade that means our trade would have been at some value now they would not ask you the value they would not ask you the value but i want you to see one thing only if you could remember we are actually somewhere making around 50 to 60 billion dollar just remember this thing around 50 to 60 billion dollars and via this fta we are actually envisaging or maybe saying that envisaging that we can go even to 100 billion dollar so somewhere around we are around 50 to 60 billion dollar and we wanted to go to around 100 billion dollar this is something very important so just remember one thing the merchandise the goods that are there somewhere around 50 to 60 billion dollar we are still doing but we are seeing is that 100 billion dollar and you all know must know this uae is india's third largest trading partner uae is india's third largest trading partner and we are certainly going to make it some maybe even rank it higher i hope it is fine with you now the question now is the first thing is that i want you to remember is uae if they could ask you if i ask you today does tropic of cancer passes through uae or not please tell me does tropic of cancer passes through uae or not yes or no let me see how many of you know this well does tropic of cancer passes through uae yes or no no yes no comments meet bhat saab says no others sujan biswas ji says yes shaukat ahmed saab says no anu saab says no should i say something or is it totally visible to you you just lost you just lost a question just see how pertinent and important it is to see everything see everything how well how well we prepare our maybe the syllabus of upsc you know is actually reflected in all these connections that you make you can fairly see this now fairly see this now the tropic of cancer was running across saudi arabia cut across uae cut across oman will cut across your india tropic of cancer now please do remember this throughout your life if this question comes this year i think we all would be blessed and we would all be so happy about it because many of us are going to do this wrong i have already given you one relation please see once more this is red sea here this is persian gulf here persian gulf is above tropic of cancer persian gulf is above tropic of cancer tropic of cancer passes through the red sea does not pass through persian gulf persian gulf is above persian gulf is above tropic of cancer is it fine with you ha uh, that is not a problem i think i welcome your change in answer we are learning every day we are learning so it's better that we must adapt uh, maybe expeditiously very good that's a very good habit Persian Gulf just look at it is above your tropic of cancer this is Persian Gulf here Persian Gulf is not being cut by tropic of cancer but Oman is and the Gulf of Oman is Red Sea is cut Red Sea is cut but not but not Gulf of Aden but not Gulf of Aden do take this into consideration Gulf of Aden is below Red Sea is cut and then you have the persian gulf above you have the oman that is being cut again do remember this it all should set in here if it is cutting uae persian gulf has already remained above if it is cutting uae persian gulf is above uae so i got one more point here does uae does uae touch persian gulf and gulf of oman both again a very important and pertinent question for you does uae touch Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman both yes or no the people who can give me answer come on does UAE touches your Persian Gulf and Oman both yes or no let me see 
that is what you should remember that is what you should remember now feel this these are the questions that will be there in the paper this year and i can be so sure about this because ua is so important for us ua touches both persian gulf and your persian gulf and your gulf of oman so clear but do also tell me oman oman does it also touches persian gulf and the gulf of oman does oman also touch your persian gulf or the gulf of oman touches both of them yes or no yes or no yes or no we see this very important you have oman till here only but this peninsula musaddan peninsula this is musaddan peninsula very important no and it is opening up which is the strait here which is the strait here the strait of the strait of please tell me the strait of which is the strait here yes yes it is the strait of hormuz yes the strait of hormuz is actually the opening is not of uae at the strait of hormuz you have oman there you have oman there at the tip of this whole peninsula it is oman there uae is somewhat down oman is there with the musatan peninsula and it is the strait of hormuz there excellent excellent very good so this is your hormuz here state of hormuz and this is oman here oman since it has a peninsula here it touches persian gulf also and it touches gulf of oman also excellent please tell me which all countries are bordering uae you see why i am doing this is it is not conventional for us to get into what we are doing right now only the people who have developed lot of taste for upsc they can understand the questions that could come please be very particular about this uae i am feeling somewhere in the paper this year i am feeling actually earlier i used to say ukraine but ukraine has now actually been so much in news they are not going to ask you ukraine but uae ethiopia i feel they are going to ask you so uae please see which all countries are bordering uae if you just see this you will get to understand no this whole southern part is your saudi arabia the whole southern part is your saudi arabia and then you have oman and then you have oman they could confuse you with lot of things here they could confuse you with lot of things because yemen if you have not seen the map anyone can get confused in this whole west asia please understand uae is bordered only by saudi arabia to the south oman taking the all eastern part and the northern part and again the persian gulf comes the side excellent so the persian gulf is coming this side so it is only saudi arabia and oman here excellent i hope you are done with this so is saudi arabia and oman that does it or touches it well done everyone that was a piece of information that i wanted to give you i hope it is fine with you ua now please come back now they would not ask you this question but uh, i'm just giving a hint about this with all with how many countries we might have signed this fta i just had a look from pib and i am telling you something now they could confuse you with with some question so i am trying to give you now itself please see na qatar will not bound actually no qatar will not bound in between no it is saudi arabia that would come qatar is not touching it's not touching please come once again please come once again we actually were trying to sign ftas since 2014 this government has been so much trying to sign the agreement but it was the first agreement that has happened after a few i think 2011 or so this is the first you uh, this fta that would have come by now this ftas are actually also in pipeline with some other countries and they would confuse you with this and hence i am giving you the countries to remember united kingdom still we are negotiating european union so two names you can directly remember because as uk went out as uk went out as brexit happened brexit had its own terms and conditions with india european union had its own terms and conditions with india and both we are trying to have a sort of fta very important israel somewhere i feel a question you can get on fta if you are getting israel can be there with israel they are still negotiating an fta 
we are still into negotiation we have not signed it and it's rather improbable till the time the examination is going to happen we are not going to sign it so do remember with israel we don't have it with israel we don't have it neither do we have it with canada neither do we have with canada and australia we are still negotiating these countries were so much in news they were we are still negotiating with them uk eu you can remember israel we are still negotiating australia and canada we are still negotiating and group of countries in the gulf cooperation council so why i gave you this is not just to have a negative list in your head because they are going to ask you a question india has signed fta with canada they would give you this please do remember with australia canada israel uk europe and we are still negotiating we have not done this with what all we have done i am just showing you just have some patience now please see please see now india bhutan now ftas are of many types no what are ftas if i just tell you ftas are free trade agreements as they are said either they remove the barriers barriers in the form of trade barriers for example if you bring in something we charge a barrier on it we put a barrier on it this barrier can be monetarily put this barrier can be quantitatively put if you remove the barrier on this that is what promotes the trade so ftas actually are signed on lot of basis basis the first one could be just minimizing or just reducing the taxes or removing the barriers removing all the barriers so we have done with lot of countries so for example with india bhutan we have an agreement on trade commerce and transit and we have revised it on 2006 also so with bhutan we have some sort of some notion of fta with nepal also we have some notion of fta and with sri lanka we have india sri lanka fta already signed we also have with the south asian free trade agreement that you can understand no the india pakistan nepal is our countries that are there and uh, you can understand that with these also we have plus plus india thailand fta is there so india has an fta with thailand that came under early harvest scheme now what is this early harvest do remember this if you try to sign an fta very soon in an expeditious manner in a fast pace you cannot come into agreement with all the things so you just try to sign a very small notion of it that is early harvest even with the uae we did this in 88 days that's a very short period for the fts to come by and in only 88 days we could only have the harvest thing just take up the maybe some things majorly otherwise the rest of the things are left for the uh, maybe later discussion ha huh. so early harvest agreement with uk we have this in order to just have an ft we have not still signed it we have still not signed it india singapore we have with india and singapore we have the comprehensive economic cooperation agreement we have comprehensive no there is a difference between cepa and ceca so this is comprehensive economic cooperation agreement and this is comprehensive economic partnership agreement so what happens now ft actually talks about at what level one could be the extreme level is that you are totally merged you are totally merged into the economy that could mean what like eu eu is a sort of economic union that is the best form of fta best form of fta but cepa is a partnership then you go into cooperation so lot of barriers and the trades are just moved ahead and you can just see this are these are the levels that are there in the fta so with singapore we have comprehensive economic cooperation agreement and if i talk about south korea very important india south korea has cepa that is comprehensive economic partnership agreement and india asean has an fta india now this is actually in trade in goods agreement that we had and a lot of discussions were being made on this and uh, we are trying to have this with lot of countries here india japan again so if they ask you about cepa ever it is two countries that you can remember south korea and japan south korea and japan yeah early harvest agreement is with australia so early harvest agreement is only about expediting the things expediting the things that is early harvest okay india and japan and india and south korea has cepa now uae has already joined this club so it is cepa if they, they ask you it is with south korea japan and uae now okay so india malaysia comprehensive economic cooperation again cepa is here ceca is here so you have seen with india malaysia here and you have seen with india singapore here so do remember if they ask you about singapore and malaysia these two are southeast asian countries malaysia and singapore we have ceca 
CEPA we have South Korea, Japan and UAE. South Korea, Japan and UAE. I hope it is fine with all of you and you would remember it. I expect a question on CEPA, maybe in the economy also and you can have South Korea, Japan, UAE as CEPA. With CECA, if they ask you CECA, that is Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement, it's Malaysia and Singapore. Fine with all of you? Is it fine? Okay, so in all this uh, halabalu about the Russia-Ukraine thing going about, we also tried to uh, find out a line that came about. So actually it started I think uh, five years back and uh, Germany or maybe if I say Russia and Germany, Russia and Europe if I were to say, they were trying to actually have a lot of gas uh, sort of supplies to them. So from Russia to Germany is a Nord Stream Nord Stream is the line that has been now uh, established. It's an export gas pipeline which is running from Russia to Europe across the Baltic Sea. So I am not expecting much on the Nord 2. If it comes, you can easily understand from Russia it is to Germany, from Russia to Germany. Now I wanted you to understand few things here which I feel is really very important and when I will show you, you will understand. Okay, if I don't show you, please tell me now. Does Russia, does Russia has any opening, has any opening into your, into your seas or the water bodies of Europe? You see, my question or my intention is to let you remember the maps easily. Russia, a very large country, you would feel like the Arctic here, you will feel like the Pacific here. But can you tell me? Does it has any inlet? Does it have any opening towards the waters or the seas of Europe? Let me see how many of you can give me the answer. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, excellent. So a direct opening. No? So this is all Russia here. See, it is all Russia here. So Russia is there. It totally touches this your Finland part. And if it is here, if it is here, the problem is now, it has got an opening into this. This is Gulf of Finland. So below Finland, you have Gulf of Finland. And in this, Russia is also bordering. So Gulf of Finland, if they ask you now, Gulf of Finland is bordered by you will have to remember it is bordered by Finland, Russia and Estonia. Finland, Russia and Estonia. And that is not probable that you would remember this. But you will remember it in this manner that even Russia is there. When they ask you the question, you will feel that no, Russia is not there. But Russia is there. The Russia is there touching the Gulf of Finland. <clears throat> it is touching. And... <clears throat> This is the Nord 2 stream they have developed. This is the Nord 2 stream that they have developed across the Baltic Sea. Across the Baltic Sea. So if this is the Baltic Sea that I can see, my question or I can easily get an, uh, maybe something now that, that do I have any part touching, do I have any part touching Baltic Sea, Baltic Sea, any countries. Now again, if you would see this thing, you will see Russia's territory here also. The Kaliningrad is here, Russia, the territory that is there. Imagine, these all countries have come in between. You have Belarus, you have others that I will name now. You have Poland here and you have Kaliningrad, Russia here. Now again a problem. The motive today, maybe for the main point of time, uh, point we can understand. Uh, if you understand, no, Belarus, uh, Ukraine would be somewhere here. Ukraine is here. So Belarus already under this uh, Russia's all ambit. So totally, this is totally maybe uh, an idea they want to have and would they would move it here. They would want to move here. So they just want to have this sort of uh, connectivity issue, whatever they have. They just want to take into this consideration that they have this territory here. So maybe whatever comes in between, they would like to take it. And Poland is here, totally into these ambit. So hence all the fight is going about. Now that is not my concern. My concern is, uh, if you see Baltic Sea, if you see Baltic Sea, they could ask you, which all countries are touching Baltic Sea? Which all countries? Now, so this Baltic Sea, uh, can we say that these are the three main countries that are known with the Baltic Sea. These are your Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Latvia and Lithuania. 
these three are the major countries that you must remember and you must also remember that russia also touches it russia also touches it along with the lower part of it is touched by poland and you can have this whole territory of sweden here the whole territory of sweden here and you can also see that yes finland also will have a touch towards your baltic sea so an idea to you is yeah baltic countries the baltic countries estonia latvia lithuania along with russia's opening there russia's opening there touches baltic sea so question could be direct does russia have a direct access to baltic sea yes does Russia have a direct access to Baltic Sea? Yes. So they would try to confuse you with, they would try to give you know that yes, Estonia is there, Latvia is there, Lithuania is there, Russia is there. People who would not have read maps so wonderfully, they would be really wondering about where Russia is. Russia is that side. They would understand this only. But please take into consideration, this is your Kaliningrad of Russia and it is touching Baltic Sea. Touching Baltic Sea. Sweden, Finland touches it. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. So if you have done Gulf of Finland, do remember there is a Gulf of Riga also. Gulf of Riga is between Estonia and Latvia. Gulf of Riga. I am going to uh, have an orientation in your mind right now. Set, please see. You start from uh, the topmost that is your between Finland and your Sweden. This is the Bodnia. The Gulf of Bothnia is there. The Gulf of Bothnia. As you come down, you see that there is Gulf of Finland here. It's a Gulf of Finland here. As you come down, you will have the Baltic Sea. This all is a Baltic Sea and you have Gulf of Riga here. Gulf of Riga here. So maybe you can set in your head now. Bodnia is between Finland and Sweden. You come down, you enter into Gulf of Finland. It's just below Finland. Russia is also touching and Estonia is touching. You come more down, you come to Gulf of Riga, Estonia and Latvia. Now this whole is Baltic Sea being touched by Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Lithuania and even Russia has an opening to it. Even Russia has an opening to it. So, a uh, major learning that you can get from here. I may expect a question because Nord 2 stream is there and because the lot of things happened, Germany and all the other countries, they are taking action and sanctions on it. So, they have just stopped all this. But uh, yet, the question can be there. Done, everyone? Done? Okay, if you are done, I have another topic for you and that is New Development Bank, the New Development Bank. Why I'm taking this topic is no, uh, it was all in news for two reasons. One is, it has admitted some new members in it. Bangladesh admitted to it, UAE admitted to it, Uruguay admitted to it, along with this Egypt already got. So these all went into somewhere about December. And Egypt also ad was admitted to this uh, group by uh, September 2021. So I expect a question about NDB in some sense. We all know this at, this was at the Fortaleza 2014 that we had announcement of NDB, the Fortaleza declaration. The Fortaleza declaration happened in 2014 and we had an NDB coming by New Development Bank which was majorly established by BRICS. BRICS. It is going to be a BRICS bank only with a hundred billion dollar capital of it. It's all started. Two proposals were in news. Earlier it was said that it will only take into consideration the economic and the development part but India proposed in the last meeting that you must also take up the uh, this uh, social infrastructure development. The social infrastructure development and it is still being mooted upon. So if the question they would ask you is yes, they support public and private infrastructure and sustainable development projects in BRICS nations and other emerging and developing economies. They are not going to they are not going to actually have their funds going to the developed countries. That is for sure. Emerging and developing countries are welcome. They would be held by it. So BRICS nations are or this NDB is going to help emerging and developing economies and not those economies that are already developed. Headquartered in Shanghai, that is a very easy question. And it also has received the observer status in the United Nations General Assembly. So UNGA has accorded to it the observer status, the observer status. The question that is now coming is, who all can become the members of New Development Bank? Which all countries can get participation into New Development Bank as its member? The answer to this is, it is open to all the members of UN. It is open to all the members of UN. But, but, 
वॉट सो एवर द कंट्रीज आर गोइंग टू ज्वाइन दीज ब्रिक्स नेशन दैट इज योर ब्राजील रशिया इंडिया चाइना साउथ अफ्रीका दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू हैव देयर पावर ऑफ वोटिंग रिड्यूस्ड बिलो फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑलवेज एंड फॉर एवर इट इज गोइंग टू बी फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट फॉर द ब्रिक्स नेशन वॉट सो एवर कंट्रीज आर ज्वाइनिंग दे वुड टेक सम सॉर्ट ऑफ वोटिंग इन इट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज ब्रिक्स नेशन विल ऑलवेज हैव फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द वोटिंग पावर टू रिमेंबर दिस इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू डायल्यूट द ब्रिक्स नेशन वोटिंग पावर इट विल हैव टू बी ऑलवेज फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट एंड अब इट कैन नॉट गो डाउन इवन इफ हंड्रेड कंट्रीज आर ज्वाइनिंग इट इजिप्ट बांग्लादेश यू ए अगेन सी यू एज अगेन कम हियर आई फील अ गुड फीलिंग दैट मे बी यू एज गोइंग टू हैव सम वेयर मैंशन इन टू द पेपर दिस इयर आई एम ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोरिंग वॉट ऑलवेज Two, three ways I have already given you. I am exploring some more ways. I'll give you Bangladesh, UAE, Uruguay, and Egypt. And Egypt. Do remember this? They have been admitted into this new development bank, and I wanted you to also study about this. So there is an Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank that you know about, and there is a new development bank. New development bank came by the Fortaleza Declaration. AIIB came in two thousand sixteen. Now, in new development bank, one thing is for sure that the membership is open to all the UN members. but the asian infrastructure investment bank membership is open to all the members of asian development bank or the world bank asian development bank or the world bank so no matter what if you are not the member of un maybe if you are uh, being recognized even in the world bank you can be you can be a member of asian infrastructure investment bank this is what i just wanted to tell you fine fine everyone So this was the new development bank. If the question is coming, this is it where they are going to hit you. Fine, everyone. So even if the members are joining, it is not going to reduce the BRICS nations members' voting power below fifty-five percent. Do remember this. They are going to be having the fifty-five percent say in it. Done, everyone. Okay, so I think that would be all from my side today, and uh, let's see, increasing the pace, and we'll have more topics coming by tomorrow. So, plus subscription you can take in four three 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 per month if you apply the code of CMC. It is three eight nine nine. Iconic is six two zero eight per month if you apply the code of CMC. You will have five five eight seven per month, and uh, optional if anyone want to have geography is the option. Do contact me two two nine two per month. It is CMC if you applied would be a two zero six three per month. And batches you have already started. You can look for the batches. And do remember, if you want to have iconic subscription where you get me as your mentor, I think I would try to drive you towards the successful journey of yours. And An Academy has really become that place of best in class educators are already here. A lot of things are already there. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And An Academy store we have already opened up in uh, Rajin Nagar. You can visit in Delhi. Score booster test series goes by 15 questions, 15 minutes. You can have this 10 a.m. It happens. And uh, 15 question, 15 minutes it happens. And uh, free mega test series happening. Fifteen questions, fifteen minutes. The Hindu is on Wednesday, and she said it's Saturday. So that would be all from my side. Thank you so much. Take care. Jai Hind. And do remember, constancy is the only key to your success. So be constant in your efforts. We are all there with you. If ever you feel that you are uh, not into that right track, do call me. Do remember me. I'll be there with you. Thank you so much. Take care. Jai Hind. <clears throat>